The J-cut and L-cut are two types of split edit in which the audio and video transitions occur at different times. Watch these two clips and pay attention to how the audio transition occurs relative to the video transition. about 15 miles away from New Orleans and the Mississippi River and, uh, and a beautiful example of a floating marsh that has been pretty much unmanaged for many, many years, decades. In the first example, the audio of the second clip precedes the appearance of its video. We hear the person speaking before we see him. The shape of this edit made by the audio and video tracks looks like the letter J, which is why it's called a J cut. In the second example, the audio of the first clip bleeds into the video of the next clip. The shape of this edit looks like an L and is called an L-cut. The reason for using these cuts is because the staggered audio and video transitions make the jump from one scene to the next less obvious to the viewer. Let's take a closer look at how easy it is to make these cuts in iMovie. Here I have an iMovie project started and you see all the clips in my library. I'll drop the first clip into the timeline by tapping the plus sign on the clip in the library. Next, I'll drop in the second clip. Having both video and audio tracks cut together as seen here, the jump from the first scene to the second scene is abrupt and jarring. We're again, uh, only about 15 miles away from New Orleans and the Mississippi River. So I'm going to use a J-cut to soften the transition. I'll start with the second clip and trim it. You must trim past the part you want to overlap with the first clip. You'll see why in a moment. Then I'll detach the audio of the second clip by selecting it and using the menu option under Modify. Now you see the audio track below the video track. I'll grab the edge of the audio track and expand it to the point where I want the person's speech to begin. Be careful not to move the audio track. Just expand it by dragging the edge to the left. That leaves the audio synced with the video of the second clip. Then I will fade the sounds from the first clip by positioning the cursor over the tab in the audio section until I see the horizontal brackets. Then I drag the arrow left to about even with the beginning of the second audio track. Now the sounds from the first audio track will fade as the person's voice is heard. When we watch the edit now, the transition between the two scenes occurs so smoothly that, that the viewer is hardly aware of it. We're in, uh, only about 15 miles away from New Orleans and the Mississippi River. And, uh, and a beautiful... The L-cut is made similarly. I first drop in the clip of the airboat to the timeline. Then the clip of people walking and talking in the marsh. Again, I'll trim the first clip past the section I want the audio to overlap with the second clip. Then detach the audio as before. and drag the edge to expand the audio clip to overlap with the next one.
I want to fade out the airboat noise by dragging the tab. And I'll lower the sound over the entire airboat clip. Now we see the scene with people walking as we hear the airboat noise fade out. This L cut is subtle, but helps transition smoothly from one scene to the next scene. As you've seen, the split edit is a nice way to avoid an abrupt cut from one scene to another. And they are easy to implement in iMovie and other editing apps that allow separation of audio and video tracks. Give it a try with your next video. This is the Scientist Videographer. Thanks for watching.